Okay, just wanted to um, have a look at setting up the workspace quickly. Um, once you've opened the application, once you've opened Flash, you get this uh, dialog box. If you click on Create New Action Script 3, you'll see the stage will appear. To maximize the stage, double click on the hand icon. Now, the actions panel here, um, tend to prefer it over on, on the left hand side here. So, to open it, Window and Actions, and then click on the tab here you drag it until you see this kind of shaded bar horizontal vertical bar appear on the left let go and that places it vertically on the left then you can just drag the width that you want so I tend to prefer that as a column on one side and then the properties library etc tools on the right hand side stage in the middle double click on the hand again to maximize the stage obviously the timeline across the bottom so now we're we're set up and ready to begin um, the tutorial um, where we're going to create a start button that's going to animate a movie clip. Um, so we'll go straight into uh, that. So first of all we want to create the assets. So we use the drawing tools. Uh, we're going to drag out a simple rectangle that's going to become our button. We're going to use the text tool, type out the word start, which is then going to be placed on the button. Let's change the colour. So we just select with the black selection tool and change the colour, drag that over the top of the button, you can align that, I'll just align it roughly using the arrow keys, black arrow, select the whole thing, text and rectangle, right click, convert to symbol, here you'll see type, drop down menu, select button, I'm going to call this start button, And we're going to OK that. Now we've got this on the stage already. We've created it on the stage. We're going to give it an instance name so we can use it in the action script. I'll give it the na same name as an instance. So that's set up now. Now we need to create our, rect our square or rectangle that we're going to animate. So again, with the rectangle drawing tool, drag out a square, select, right click, convert to symbol. Type becomes movie clip, so that's a movie clip, and we'll give it the name square. I'll OK that, and again, like we did with the button, we will give it the instance name square. So those are both stored in the library there. And so, so now it's basically a question of adding the interactivity. Um, before we do that, we want to separate these two out. So I'm going to create a second layer here. And I'm going to cut the square out and paste in place. If we right click and select paste in place, that will place, paste it into the same place on the new layer. We'll name the layers by double clicking on them. So keep all your naming straightforward. Typo there. Right, so that, that's set up. Finally, we want to create an animation. Now we're going to animate to frame 50. So if we go to frame 50 and control click to select both keyframes, right click and insert fra frame. And that extends both those layers up to frame 50. Now we want to animate the square itself. To do that, we're going to use something called the motion tween. So if we click on the square layer, right click and select create motion tween. That places that tween on that layer, you'll see it's turned blue. We move the needle to the end of that block and drag the square down to the right. You'll see it creates a motion path that the square will then animate along. Also, um, to, to stay in line with the um, HTML5 example, um, we're going to fade it as well. So with the square selected, if you go over to properties on the right hand side, in this sub-menu here called color effect, you will see style, and instead of none, we want alpha, which is another word for transparency. Alpha is at 100% at the moment, we're going to fade that down to close to zero, and then you will see that that goes from the first keyframe, where it's solid, to the last keyframe, where it's almost faded away. So that's all, those are our assets created. Now we want to add the script to make it interactive. So to add the script to make it interactive 
um, we want to we're going to use um, code snippets so if you go to the top of the actions panel here you'll see code snippets click on that now this is a fairly new feature which basically is a blocks of pre-written code that we can use we're going to expand timeline navigation now we're going to begin by stop at this frame and very simply what that does is it stops the animation playing through automatically it stays as it says stops at that first frame if we then click inside the actions panel press the enter key to um, scroll down a bit and then we're going to select code snippets again and this time we're going to stay in timeline navigation but we want to play some script on the start button now to make sure this goes on the start button we need to actually click on it first so we select the start button we can tell it's selected because we can see the properties of the button up there so again click on code snippet and we want we want click to go to frame and play if we double click on that I'm just going to expand out the actions panel here and just to explain this now with this the code snippets it, it writes the code for you and then you can modify the code okay it explains what it does there self-explanatory there are instructions here so basically in the code here we've got the start button there you see the, the same as we named it so it's attached this code to that start button and we, we basically just need to tell it which frame we want it to go to and play now we actually want it to play from frame one so we want it to go to frame one and play and play all the way through to the end um, you can always just to be doubly sure click on the blue tick here to make sure you, you haven't um, inadvertently altered anything so all the code is okay there's there are no um, uh, warnings in here so to test it if we press control and uh, test movie flash professional we can now test it if we click on the start button we'll see that that triggers the animation now what it does at the moment is it plays through and then jumps through back to the beginning what we need to do is play through and stop at the end so very simply to do that we just need another one of these stop actions so we go back to the timeline here if we go to the final keyframe here right click and insert blank keyframe we can open code snippets again and we can place a stop action on that individual frame at the end so what that does now so if we test movie, now we can go, we can actually a quicker way of testing movie, if we press control and enter and test again, you will see it plays through, but it stops at the end. Okay, so that, that's the end of that uh, particular tutorial.